Hey everybody, welcome back. This is going to be episode zero of our Python for Daily Fantasy Sports video series. In this video, I'm going to be going over the core concepts we'll be covering in this series and the general order that I plan to go over them. So if there's anything missing from this video that you think really needs to be included or you'd like to learn more about, let me know down in the comments and I will do my best to address it and bring it into the video. So, here we go. The topics that I plan on covering for this video are as follows. We have one, lineup optimization. Lineup optimization I'm gonna cover first, even though it's not exactly an entry level process, because I, I think there's a lot of people out there that have their own methodology for scoring already created, that are ready to go, and they're just stuck manually creating their lineups every week or using a very inefficient Excel solver function uh, to get lineups one at a time. So I, I think it's it'll be a good place to start to get us going. And then once we have our lineup optimizer created, we're going to jump back to the beginning and we're going to start with web scraping. Uh, we have to start with web scraping because without data and statistics, there is no data science which is kind of the point of this series it is, you know, exploratory data analysis. Um, and that involves going and getting our own data. So for our examples, I will be going over NBA statistics because NBA is what I love. I'm sure you love something different and that's perfectly fine. Uh, but, but what I will teach you on how to get statistics for the NBA is definitely going to carry over into whatever sport or area you're wanting to get numbers from. Um, so for each of these topics that I'm going to go over, we're going to have a basic and an advanced version. Um, depending on how long it takes to go over them, I'm not decided if they're going to be separate videos or just one video for each topic broken, you know, half for the basic, half for the advanced or something like that. Um, so that we'll kind of see as we go. So if you notice that the basics video doesn't go into it enough that you understand, um, or maybe the, you know, it goes in too, too deep and I'm wasting everybody's time. Either way, let me know. Same with the advanced. It, it, there's no point in going over an advanced topic if nobody's understanding it because I'm not being granular enough with what I'm talking about. So be, you know, don't be afraid to let me know down in the comments if there's something that I can improve on to make the videos easier to understand. Um, so, for example, web scraping. We're going to have Beautiful Soup and we're going to have Selenium and we're going to have Pandas. Um, those are going to be the three main packages that we use. Beautiful soup for the basics. Um, and either way, we're going to be taking it down into pandas to look at and work with. Uh, and I might do a basic one, beautiful soup to Excel, uh, just to write to a CSV file, because that's very simple as well. Especially for somebody that's not as experienced with Python. Um, I'm, I'm an engineer. I work with engineers. I know everybody loves spreadsheets in Excel. Uh, and if you're used to Excel, you're probably going to want to see your stuff in Excel, and I understand that. So I'll show you how to write it to Excel first, and then when we get to the more advanced stages of it, we'll be probably be sticking with Pandas for the most part. Because um, even if you don't like Pandas, when we get to the point where I put data in Pandas, you can always export it to Excel with a very easy function that we'll go over. So you can move it out to Excel if you prefer and do all of your analysis there. I'm not going to stop you. I'm not going to judge you. That's what I did for the beginning parts of this for quite some time, just because I wasn't very comfortable with pandas. After we scrape the data and we get that under our belt, we're going to move on to just reviewing the statistics. This will probably be one video broken between pandas and Excel um, for the advanced and the basic, because there's, there's not a lot to go over here. I mean, the data is the data. You know what you're scraping because you have to tell uh, beautiful super selenium what you want so it's really more of how to look at the data and verify data types to make sure that the data is in a format you can use for, for example um, if you're wanting to move on to machine learning algorithms down the road everything has to be numerical there can be nothing that is a string um, or or empty for that matter it'll need to be a NAND but that's beside the point so it, it, it not everything is going to come out how you think it is. That's something that I've found. Um, one of the more challenging aspects of this is is the upfront prep work. Once you get the data prepped and ready, I mean, that's 90% of the work. The rest is just figuring out what models are going to give you the best result. And that's just trial and error. That's not hard. 
that it just takes time to find something that works for you, really. So we're going to spend a little bit of time going over that uh, and some ways that you can automate that process, but especially starting out, there's a major benefit to just going through your data column by column, row by row, and just getting understanding what you're getting. Because you're, you're going to save yourself a lot of time and headache and heartache and frustration um, by doing that up front and not just assuming everything is going to be fine because I, I promise you it won't be. There's going to be something in there messing it up. There's going to be something in every data dump that's not pretty and you have to learn to work with. Um, so you might as well get used to it now on something you can control where you're not, you know, crunch for time because uh, it's a very good skill to learn. So after we go over stat review, we're going to move on to just different ways to use the statistics. And this is where it's going to start to get a little murky as far as what I'm planning to do, because there you can go a lot of different ways here. Obviously, you have your machine learning models, the different types of modeling. Um, what you can use, what you can't use, why you'd use it, why you wouldn't use it. So that might be uh, another video series ended up getting in, ending up getting broken out it is a like a, a machine learning model overview, like introduction course, where we just kind of go over all of the different types of models, um, at least the most co most uh, commonly used ones. And just kind of go step by step and learn the pros and the cons of each one, when you'd want to use it, when you wouldn't, the you know drawbacks of each, the pros and cons, all of that type stuff. I haven't used every modeling algorithm out there. I've only used a handful. But it, it, it could be anything from advanced machine learning modeling to a scoring system you built in Excel. You just need all of the data to dump into it. Um, it could be complex, it could be basic, it could be a whole lot of different things. So I'll probably be leaning on input from you guys as we go to see what types of things you're most interested in. And then maybe I can show you some of the things I've done and we'll kind of strike a balance there. Um, even if it's, you know, supervised versus unsupervised learning for machine learning, clustering algorithms, things like that can all be useful. But if it's not something everybody's interested in, then how, you know, how useful is it to go over it in this series, right? That might be better suited for a more advanced series down the road. But once we get figured out what we're doing there, we're going to move on to actually using what we have for daily fantasy sports. Um, so I, I primarily use FanDuel. Again, I primarily use the NBA games. Um, I, I've used golf. I've used football. I, I've used a bunch of different things, but NBA is my bread and butter that I spend the most time on because it's just what I'm most interested and most familiar with. Um, so I'm going to do just a, a short video probably um, on, on FanDuel and Daily Fantasy Sports in general where we will go over how to download the CSV player list for the day. Uh, and that's going to be important because those are going to be the IDs that come on that sheet. Those are going to be the IDs that you use when you're generating your lineups. Um, because that's how FanDuel, right, they, each player has a unique ID on the back end, and that's how they keep track of all of the lineups. And if you want to bulk upload lineups in a CSV and not just you know manually make one lineup, two lineup, three lineup, four lineup, you're going to need to be familiar with this process. It's not hard. It's not hard. You can even make lineups manually using this tool if you want to bulk upload them. That's perfectly fine. Um, but I'm just going to go over how to get that and how to look at it, how to read it, how to understand it. And then for the NBA, I'll go over the basic rostering rules, and I'll show you how to find the rules for whatever tournament you're in, whether it's a different sport or just a different tournament, because um, the rules are very easy to find on FanDuel. So it, it's just you'll need to know them when you go to create your optimization algorithm for the lineup. Um, which brings us to our next point. This is where I'll be doing another look at our lineup optimization, but this will be a much more step-by-step -step tutorial similar to the videos you will be seeing um, in between the first one and this one to come. And then after that, it, it kind of gets pretty open-ended. That might be the end of this series or we might break it out into a more advanced series on machine learning and data modeling, or we may just do a, an intro to Py Python video if that's what where the demand is and what people are interested in. Um, 
Now, wherever the series ends up going, wherever the channel ends up going, I just want to thank you guys for being here, for taking the time to watch this video. And if you're interested in what's to come, go on down, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and I appreciate every single one of you. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.